Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to scan on a Canon PIXMA TR4522 printer. These will be step-by-step -step instructions and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Once again, this is the Canon PIXMA TR4522 printer, okay? And if you have the other printers within the TR4500 series, it's gonna be very similar. So there are other printers that are very similar to this model, but the model number is gonna be slightly different. The process is gonna be basically very, very similar. So all that you need to do is prepare, you, you need to have the Canon print app, you need to have the document that you wanna scan, and you need to have the printer connected Connected to your Wi-Fi network. There's also a way to do it where you can scan on a USB or scan directly to a PC. Um, and to, in order to do that, you're going to hit the scan button right here. Which, this is the scan button right over here. This one that my finger's on top of right now. You're going to hit that scan button. You can select your options. Um, and then you can choose scan to PC or to a local USB. But for this tutorial, I'm going to keep it simple with the Canon print app. So take your page that you want to scan. In my case, I just did this little squiggly line right here. You want to place it face down in the scanner bed right here. So I'm going to place it face down like this in the scanner bed. Very simple. Okay. When you close the lid, close it nice and gently because you don't want all the air to just push it out of place. Um, then you want to open up your Canon print app. So I'm just going to open this up. This is just a spare phone that I use for videos like this. We have the Canon print app right here. On the bottom, you're going to see the option to scan. Okay, so I'm going to hit scan over here. Then it gives you options. So it's, you can change these settings, but these are the standard settings that I have. I'm, I'm going to look through the, uh, uh, not through the viewfinder because it's hard for me to see through it. I'm going to just look at the screen. Document type is a document. Okay, color mode is color. Document size is a letter. Document size is letter. So once again, that's for that's for the two different document sizes depending on what you're doing. Okay. So basically, I'm scanning a document in color, full color, and it's a letter size document for both. Whether it's uh, I believe it's Play 10 is how you pronounce that, or ADF, letter and letter. Okay. The, I'm good with these options. My paper's in place. I'm going to hit scan right here, and it's going to connect to the Wi-Fi network and connect to the printer, and it says scanning page one. You're going to hear it actually making some sounds and scanning. It's hard right now. My laundry room is actually right over there and my dryer is going uh, right now with all my kids like winter jackets in it and stuff like that. So you hear all the zippers hitting. So it's hard to hear. Okay. But it did scan. And if it was a little bit, my dryer wasn't on, but wasn't trying to multitask so much, you'd be able to hear it. So it did scan it. You can see right here, um, it says to continue scanning, load the next document and select scan. So if I wanted to scan more than one document, I can load it in and select scan um, or I can exit okay so as you can see there's the squiggly line I'm gonna hit exit and then it's gonna give me options for what to do so it says scan result it shows the squiggly line scan result and then I can save it using this icon over here depending on what type of phone you're using okay so that's it that is essentially how to scan um, so sorry I'm just exiting out it's asking me if I want to delete the scan result please confirm I'm gonna hit OK because I don't want that scan that's just for this video tutorial so basically that's how to scan on this printer right here it's basically gonna be the same thing for all of the Canon PIXMA TR4500 series printers um, and that's it it's actually really easy to do you can also scan locally to a USB or to a connected PC as well, whether it's wirelessly or wired, uh, a wired connection. Either way is good to go. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.